I like to think of us as the 21st century blacksmiths. You know, blacksmiths made tools and those tools enabled other people to do fantastically important work. And we are tool makers here. EarthTime is a platform for taking massive amounts of data, synthesizing it and displaying it in different ways so people can explore and learn and find new insights into what's happening in the world today. We want people to understand how the Earth is changing around us and the degree to which our actions affect our children's future. At the same time, we want people to understand the demography of the Earth, how politics, how sociology, how disease are changing the way we live. As we address these global issues, we need to be able to start from a common set of understanding. The polarization today often comes from people starting from different facts. And we need, we need to be able to fix that. And if we do that in a way that's so unbiased, so neutral, that it actually charts common ground between all the different peoples on Earth, so that whatever your political leanings may be, you see this as a truth that lets you have common semantics and common discourse. So the last picture I want to show you is an extraordinary image of refugees across the world. The reactions that we get when we show Earth Time are diverse, but they're really powerful emotionally. Um, we've had cases where people will run up to, to the stage and the interactive tablet that we have and ask us to zoom in on a particular place when we're showing, for instance, sea level rise. And we zoom in and we zoom in and they say, oh my God, that's my house. My house is going to go underwater because of this. And then they jump up and they want to talk policy. And what's happened is we've taken the story and made it so intimately personal that now they are driven in every way to make a difference.